Hey there, Sharon Hornellstrom here. Welcome to day 235 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about, just like we are this entire month, our communication goals. And our topic today is communication goals and the other life framework areas. We are dealing with a model or a framework or a system that has nine different areas and aspects of our life that we can consider and want to consider when it comes to setting goals and objectives. I've used this one. I just added confidence and communication, the, the topic of this month's uh, goals daily challenge in 2021. And in 2021, these are this is the list of the seven items that I originally dealt with, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, and contribution. And then in 2021, following the pandemic and all that craziness that we all experienced, and we each experienced it in our own unique way, but we all were impacted by the pandemic and the way it was handled, I added communication and confidence to my goal setting framework, my goal setting processes, because I think that they're foundational skills and we need to be continually improving them just like other areas and aspects of our life. But I found that if I work on my communication, if I work on my confidence, that positively impacts every other area and aspect of my life. So we wanna think about those connections today. And in 2021, I was explaining this to one of my consulting clients. And this is the, the little graphic that I drew for them to show that we might think that our physical well-being or our financial well-being or our relationships are separate from all the other area and aspects of our life, but really it's like this giant spider web and everything is interconnected. Communication is green on this and you can see that communication is impacted by and impacts every other area on the framework. So what I like to do once a month when we're talking about each of the different areas and aspects of our life, is focus in on those connections. And I make a little chart in my my journal because I keep a journal for every challenge, just like I hope you are as well. We talked about it, I think, maybe even the first day of the challenge, is getting a notebook, getting a journal, getting something that feels okay for you. And I, I've got literally, I probably have hundreds of journals and, and books like this that I've kept throughout my lifetime. But I like to create a page where this one's about communication, so I put communication goals across the top, and then I just list the nine areas, and I think about it as I go about the, my day, what does my physical well-being have to do with communication? And to me, one of the biggest things is my self-talk and my beliefs about my physical well-being, which come out in my self-talk, or my subconscious self-talk, have a huge impact on my physical well-being, my mental, my emotional, my spiritual relationships, etc. So I want to think about those things and just jot down a couple of notes about the connection and how improving my communication can positively impact each of those different areas and aspects of my life. Because if we come up with at the end of the month, the end of every month, we go through our goal process, right? Our goal framework that we're using and we're installing in our subconscious through repetition throughout this year's challenge so that it becomes automatic for us. And if we think about these things throughout the month, by the time we get to the end of the month, we are experts at how to deal with that particular area of our life for us. Because it's a little bit different for each and every one of us. We have to take the things we learn and make them our own by tweaking and testing and trying and figuring out what works best for us. The way I say things to myself in my self-talk is probably different than a lot of people say things in their self-talk, but it works for me. And I need to pay more attention to what works positively for me to get me the results I want than what anybody else on the planet is doing, right? So that's our action item today. Think about the interactions between your communication goals and communication as a whole, of course, and each of the different areas and aspects of your life. If I'm feeling better about myself and talking to myself in positive ways, I'm feeling energized and strong physically, then I come across better in my communication. That's just the way it is for me. I hope it's the way it is for you, but you have to figure out what's best for you. Some people need to feel upset. and I know a lot of people that in order to clean their house, they have to get angry. I'm not that person. If I'm grumpy about something, I'm not going to get the results that I want. So that's our action item today. That's our topic for today. Any questions about that, hit me up. As usual, Guide 17, uh, the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page. There's a write-up. In Guide 16 are all our videos. Guide 15, all of last year's challenge. And then... Guides 1 through 14 are the two previous years. Every other month we did a 30-plus day challenge to keep us moving through the pandemic. Similar topics covered 
in different ways for different areas and aspects of our life. So if you're looking for something specific, just ask it in the little search question queue on the side of that particular group and you will find probably more information than you want. All right, have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.